Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this session. Deploy N applications to N clusters using Argo CD application set. My name is Dewan Ahmed, and I'm a developer advocate at Red Hat. I'm based in Moncton in the beautiful New Brunswick, which is in the eastern part of Canada. I love everything cloud native with a focus on DevOps and GitOps tools. Besides work, I love to play pool, ping pong, and I'm also a freelance career coach. In terms of agenda, we have a packed one today. So we'll go for the idea of GitOps and we'll talk about Argo CD, uh, how Argo CD can be used uh, as a GitOps tool on Kubernetes. But more importantly, we're gonna talk about a sub-project of Argo CD application set and how we can use application set to deploy any applications to end cluster. Both of the talk will be followed by a demo. And at the end, we'll have some time for Q&A. At the bottom right corner of your screen, you can see a link to a GitHub repository. That repository has the entire demo for vanilla Kubernetes cluster and using open source Argo CD. For my demo, I'll be using OpenShift, but for your case, you can choose open source Argo CD and vanilla Kubernetes. If you're watching from a mobile device, you can also scan the QR code and that will also take you to that GitHub repository. So this is GitOps in one slide uh, by Luis Vasira. Uh, and it says, we use Git as a single source of truth for a system, not our Kubernetes cluster, not some virtual machines. And we also use Git as a place where you operate. That means you create, manage, and delete your resources via Git. And that change gets reflected on the cluster. And finally, any change that you or your team are making will also be observable and verifiable. Now, to do GitOps on Kubernetes, uh, we of course need the Git repo to begin with, where you'll have your application manifest. You'll need your Kubernetes cluster or clusters if you're deploying to multiple Kubernetes cluster. You might need a manifest generation tool like uh, Customize for your pre-prod, prod, and let's say dev environments. Uh, you need a CI tool because CI is not equals to CD. Uh, in that GitHub repository that I showed earlier, uh, under resources section, there is an excellent blog that tells why CI ops is an anti-pattern and why your CI tool should not do direct deployment. And finally, you need your Kubernetes YAMLs, the service and uh, deployment YAMLs. Now, what is Argo CD? So Argo CD is a GitOps continuous delivery tool for Kubernetes. Uh, from this picture, you can see that Argo CD, uh, the, the idea is very simple. It watches over your Git repository and reacts to any change uh, on the Kubernetes cluster where your application is deployed to. Uh, it's an open source project and a lot of companies and individual contributors has contributed to this awesome project. Now, why use Argo CD? Now, the first three points are uh, pretty self-explanatory from the previous slides, where we use Git as the single source of truth. It's developer-centric. That means your developers are using Git push rather than using kubectl commands, which can be pretty tricky to understand and master. Uh, it's declarative. That means rather than running uh, shell scripts, uh, which doesn't guarantee anything, uh, it's a declarative. That means you define the state, and Kubernetes ensures that the state reflects on the cluster. In terms of auth authentication, Argo CD offers uh, SSO. And in terms of uh, uh, authorization, Argo CD offers multi-tenancy and RBAC. And uh, in terms of auditing, you can see your application logs uh, and API calls as well. Argo CD trivializes rollback because rolling back is just a matter of a, of a Git commit. So you can roll back to any previous point in history uh, wherever there is a Git commit. Uh, Argo CD app diff, that command would show your desired state versus the active life state of the cluster. You can also see that on the UI, which you will uh, see more in the, in the demo. And finally, considering all these points, your engineering team will have a much higher velocity to do their application delivery on Kubernetes. Now, how Argo CD works? So the blue rectangle right here where I hover my mouse is the Argo CD uh, API server. 
and Argo CD uh, is implemented as a Kubernetes controller. The repository service over here uh, maintains a local cache of the Git repository, and the API server is a gRPC and REST server, which exposes the API to the Argo CD UI, Argo CD CLI, or various CI CD system. Uh, right on the left, we can see our developer persona uh, when they do a PR merge, uh, Argo CD reacts via the webhook event and uh, deploys the application to various cluster, which you can see at the bottom part of the screen. Now, if your deployment needs are a bit complex, you can take advantage of sync hooks, which can run scripts before, during, or after the sync operation. And by sync, I mean, if your application's actual state is different from the target state, your application will be out of sync and you need to do a sync action to get the application synced. All right, so enough talk, enough slides. Let's uh, dive into a demo for uh, Argo CD. So in this demo, what we'll be seeing is how we can deploy a single application from a single repository to a single Kubernetes cluster. So what you see, uh, I have an application. It's a pretty simple application. Uh, I have my deployment file. Uh, I have my service file. I have a customization file. Um, I'm adding a prefix here. And uh, this is the uh, Argo CD UI where you can create an application. In order to create an application, I'm specifying the link to the application. And because this is not a private application, I didn't have to uh, connect to this repository uh, already. The project is Argo CD project, which is different from OpenShift project or Kubernetes namespace. And um, checked Kubernetes, uh, uh, I, I checked on the source uh, revision uh, head and uh, specific branch information if you need. Uh, so I specified the path where my YAML files are, which is the deployment file, the service file, and the customization file. Uh, I already have this namespace created uh, already where I'd like my uh, application to deploy. Uh, since I already have uh, namespace defined, you can overwrite that prefix uh, on this UI as well. So once I all have all that, I can click create and you can do the same thing via the command line as well. So once I do that, my application, Argo City application is created. Uh, I had a single replica defined in my deployment file and you can see that the application uh, is deployed with the prefix XYZ dash. Now that's all uh, good and nice, uh, but what if you want to deploy to multiple Kubernetes clusters at once? Uh, what if you'd like to deploy multiple Argo CD applications from a single mono repo? You wouldn't be able to do that using a single CRD using just Argo CD. So that's why uh, I'm introducing uh, Argo CD application set, which is a sub project of Argo CD. So Argo CD application set, you can think of it as an application factory which takes in uh, an application set, which you can see on line number two right here, a new CRD, a custom resource definition as an input, and it outputs one or more uh, Argo CD applications. Uh, and it does that uh, with dynamic injection. So fields like cluster URL, uh, these values are dynamically injected and targeting new cluster is just a matter of adding uh, add elements. Now, what I'm showing you on screen is just one example, one generators of Argo City application set, and you can use multiple different types of generators based on your need. Now, how are, does application set controller work? Now, application set controller by itself, it does not create or manage any Kubernetes resources. It lets Argo CD does the heavy lifting. So the only resource it creates are the Argo City applications. It also does not connect to uh, your Kubernetes cluster. If you'd like to deploy to Kubernetes cluster, those have to be already uh, in uh, Argo CD uh, at, with Argo CD cluster add command. Um, so Argo City application set does not connect to clusters on your behalf. And finally, Argo City application set is only limited to the Argo CD namespace where Argo CD is installed. So in short, Argo CD application set only creates and manages the Argo CD applications and it does, uh, it lets Argo CD to do all the heavy lifting. 
And here are the different types of generators. And if you go to that Git, repos, Git repository, which I showed in the, in the beginning of the talk, uh, you can go to the read the docs for a grocery application set. And there I have link to all the different types of generators. And I have the demo uh, for list generator, uh, cluster generator, uh, Git generator directory, and matrix generator over there. Now, again, enough talk and uh, let's uh, get into a demo for Argo CD application set. Now I'm showing you uh, OpenShift console right here, uh, but you can follow the demo I have on the GitHub repository to do the same thing on vanilla Kubernetes cluster. Uh, this is uh, the, the application repository where I have the, the custom resource definition from application set. So the first example I have is for list generator, and the second one is for git generated directory. So let's look at uh, the YAML uh, for list example. So as you can see, the kind on line number two is application set, and I have the second cluster, which is engineering prod commented out because I'll be adding uh, the specific URL in a bit. Line number 19, which is the repository URL, this is where my application uh, uh, manifest files reside. And the path shows the ex exact path where, where those resources are. If you see uh, the cluster in curly braces, these values will be dynamically injected. That means my engineering dev and engineering prod are folders within that specific path. Similarly, the value for URL will be dynamically injected as well. And at the very end, I have a specific option, sync options, uh, create namespace equals to true. That means if the namespace does not exist already, Argo CD will create the namespace if it has sufficient privilege to do so. So the specific operator we're using here is Red Hat OpenShift GitOps um, on OpenShift. So this operator is a cluster level operator, uh, which gets installed in all clusters. And I'll access the Argo CD uh, UI from here. Out of the box, this operator gives you uh, an Argo CD instance. Uh, so I copied uh, the, the password uh, for uh, the default uh, Argo CD admin password uh, under workloads, secrets, uh, and under OpenShift GitOps namespace. The specific uh, password is OpenShift GitOps cluster. Now this is out of the box, the default admin password. You can definitely change the password. So once I'm here, I can go into cluster and I can see I have only one cluster. Now this is the cluster where Argo CD is already installed. But as you can see from that list example YAML, we'd like to deploy to two cluster. So I need to add that remote cluster. Now in order to add that remote cluster, I have to first log in to the Argo CD uh, API server via command line because you can't add clusters as of now from the UI. Uh, Argo CD uh, CLI is pretty picky on how you uh, format the, the URL for the API server. So just similarly, we use the default admin password. Uh, we use the same uh, default um, admin password to connect uh, to the Argo CD API server from the CLI. So once we do that, uh, we have the context of the remote server uh, where hopefully you're already logged in. And this is the remote cluster for me. I'm using a handy tool called kubectx that, uh, that lets me switch uh, between multiple Kubernetes clusters. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, check out kubectx. It's a pretty awesome tool. So since I'm already logged into that uh, remote cluster, all I have to do is a Argo CD cluster add command, uh, which you can see at the bottom of your screen. And then the, the context name, context for the cluster. What it does is it creates a service account, a cluster role and a cluster role binding. So once I have that, I can go back to my Argo CD UI uh, and refresh and hopefully uh, we'll be able to see uh, the cluster being added. And I'll also update this specific YAML to update the URL for the, the remote cluster. So engineering prod in this case is a remote cluster and engineering dev is the cluster where Argo CD was installed. 
So you can create uh, an application set uh, resource using just a kubectl apply or OC apply. In this case, I'm using the OpenShift console to create the application set custom resource. I'll switch to the YAML view and uh, paste the YAML I just copied. Uh, I'll have to update the engineering prod cluster and I'll update the namespace which right now is guestbook-ns. So this namespace uh, is, is not there right now. So if the application is created, it's gonna complain that uh, the namespace is not there. I'm using a specific flag called managed by OpenShift GitHub so that OpenShift GitHub's controller, which is the same as Argo CD controller, has access to that namespace to create and manage uh, uh, Kubernetes resources. So now that I'm in Argo CD UI, I can see that the remote cluster shows up and I'm adding the URL for that remote cluster here. So once I create the application, I'll switch back uh, and you can see that using a single custom resource definition, I have two Argo CD application. And one application is in my local cluster or the cluster where Argo CD was installed. The other cluster was in a remote cluster. And this could be n number of cluster. Now, similar to a previous example where we created our one Argo CD application, uh, you could delete that Argo CD application. But since these two applications were created using application set, if you wanted to delete uh, one of the applications, uh, application set will recreate the application for you. So this is a pretty solid example. If someone malicious wanted to mess up with a cluster and try to delete your Argo City application, that action will be prevented. So now we can see our both applications were created and they're synced. Now next, we'll go over the git generator directory example. While the first example uh, was for a single application from a single repository deployed to two cluster, this example is more like a mono repo. So we have one repository, but under different folders, we have multiple applications to be deployed to a single cluster. So all of these applications are virtually the same. I'm using the same image, but I'm mimicking the behavior of a mono repo. So we have three applications. Uh, a Helm application, a customized application, and a JSON application. And these are the applications I'll be creating. So again, using the same formula, uh, we can create this application. Uh, we can do an OC apply of the YAML, or we can use the console if you're using OpenShift and the path.base name uh, are different applications for different folders. So examples, git generator directory slash guestbook example apps slash star, those are the three folders uh, we have on our Git repository. So as soon as I create, I can see that uh, three applications were created uh, from a mono repo and I didn't specify auto sync. So I have to manually sync the applications. So this is another feature. You can either have manual sync or you can have automatic sync. So once I do that, uh, JSON, it takes a bit of time. All three applications will be synced and healthy. Okay, so that was uh, the demo uh, for Argo CD application set and how you can deploy n number of applications to n number of clusters. Hopefully you found value in this session. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on either Twitter or LinkedIn, or feel free to ask questions on the Argo CD public Slack channel as well. Thank you so much for your time today.